Yeah. All right. So you got the list, right? Yes, I do. All right, cool. Pull it Before up, we man. do that, let's do this the right way. Get the hell out of my ring! It's funny that we just came up with this uh, this segment. Yes. And WWE just like was like, all right, here's all the content you need. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's exactly how it went. They were like, oh, we got a whole list for you guys. <laughs> this is what we feel like need to get the fuck out of here. And then they did it. Now, so far, I haven't really seen anybody that's like broken my heart. Where Bro. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? Why? So Bro, this is probably the I remember. What was it last year? Two years ago when they did those releases? Those yeah. were kind of devastating. Those were worth like news headline newses for at least the wrestling forums. But these, to be honest, I was looking at the list and I'm like, who, 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 who the <laughs> fuck are these people? Who, who, <laughs> who? You want to? Is there like a long, like a list? Just yeah, there's straight, a list straight down. Me, me. I guess let's just go through them and then we'll. All right. We'll, give our all take. Right. Well, I figure we could give our take. We could either agree that they should get the fuck out of here. Um, and then there's some that I think are going to go to AEW, which is also is get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck, or make it better. <laughs> there may be some Hollywood guys. <laughs> go ahead. Start All right, the list. I'm, go- I'm going to go down the list from, and like, I guess has a name. <laughs> has a name. <laughs> <laughs> to the who's. All right, so first on the list, we're going to have a better discussion about him a little later, but Matt Riddle. Okay, yeah. Matt Riddle. That might be one of the bigger names that got uh, pulled. Yeah, but he was already pulled a few months before this even happened. They kept dropping him every show, but that's that's and here to come. Let's be real. This again, we'll get to this later, yeah. but kind of all brought on him on himself. Oh, de- most yeah, definitely, yeah. bro. Yeah, destructive well, human being. I that think. was probably one of the you know you usually talk about the white people that don't do harm for themselves. Or <laughs> yeah, we got one. <laughs> we got one. We got a real life Jesse Pinkman. I'm taking him to the bank here, bro. That's that's it. Yeah. Um. The next one, Jeff Hardy. That's another. One. That's the next oh, one with the oh. Matt Riddle. Yeah, but uh, anyway. he might be this generation's Jeff Hardy if he <laughs> sticks around. If he sticks around, yeah. but I think I think they learned their lesson and just calling it quits. Well, again, we'll get to this later, but I think I think we don't see Matt Riddle ever again. No, that's it. I think it's the two, the two <laughs> the two most um, aggressive physical sports out there don't want him. Actually, you know what. AEW, AEW is going to take him. Fuck no, because they're going to team him up with Jungle Boy. But let's just get to that shit later. Wow. <laughs> He's going to be Jungle Man. <laughs> or Jungle I can see Bro. That. Tarzan. Jungle Bro. Jungle Bro. Wow. I could see that. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. This is the probably one of the two names on the list where I go, okay, I, I won't even, I, I'll probably just like your tweet if you tweet about this person. Okay. Dolph Ziggler. Why are you still alive? Let's not act like Dol- Dolph Ziggler wasn't a superstar by any means, but he definitely was like who who do we discuss is like that now? Um, he's like a Seth Rollins. Mm, uh, no, I can't. I have to put him more in the mid, maybe upper mid card area. Seth Rollins is a is a main eventer. He's WWE. a main eventer, but he's also he's also someone that tests out the new the newbies when they come in. I see what you're saying. He's yeah. kind of like a go out there and see if this guy could put on a real put on a real show, a real match, a real yeah. match. Yeah, and that's Dolph. Look, I'm not I'm not one of the best sellers of 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 the PG era, bro. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, Ziggler, I guess he she should have been a little bit bigger, but I I don't know. I don't. He wasn't bad on the mic. No, it wasn't better. To be he, honest, before like how everybody gets on LA Night LA Night now about him not being original, that was kind of Dolph. Dolph had the Brett for, the Brett um heart colors. Um, he had the the old school beach blonde hair look of the golden era. He did the Billy Gun look. He did for the a Billy Gun, and then he looked like Chuck for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was. Yeah, that's that's the reason for him. Um, this is where I'm at with Ziggler is like he he had his time. And if WWE, because we didn't really talk about this, but I think it's a lot of it is just like cutting the fat. Yeah, didn't he and, do a scissor kick for a finisher at one point? 
Like, like the famous Maybe. Thing? Yeah. I think he did the famous or He was playing up the, the Billy yeah. look alike thing. Yeah. Um, but I think Ziggler will also get picked up by AEW Impact. One I, of those I, I, I see him in Impact. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think Ziggler's gonna be just fine. I don't I don't I'm not worried about him. Yeah. Um he's one of those guys that just that just he f- always finds work. So uh yeah, you can make an argument for him being he should have been bigger, but I think I think he was I think he he was good for where he was at. He was a good crash dummy, and I don't think they should have dropped him for being a crash dummy. Because who do they have now? But well, it doesn't seem like they're going to pick up anybody new it anytime de- soon. It depends on where they're going. They could be going like, let's we want to refine everything now. So every we're going to cut everybody that's not drawing. We're going to cut everybody that's just enhancement talent. We don't. I think you need some of that, but I don't know if Z- if Ziggler's that guy anymore. I think where he, they went wrong was, I think they went wrong by taking any veteran or seasoned wrestler and put them on NXT. I think that's where they went wrong, because he was the champion on that. He was the NXT champion for a minute. Like I think that extended his career for a little bit. If we all know as fans that this is the de- developmental uh, matches and but and show. Why the fuck are we watching Dolph Ziggler? Because it makes shit? sense to have some veterans there. I think that's the that, stupidest that they got into it, bro. Just, I, I, I like the protege shit, but when now when it's pros versus rookies, that's just rack, bro. That, yeah, that gets well. They haven't really done that, but the thing is, is I I get the idea of like, all right, the the veterans going back down to NXT to sort of reinvigorate his career. I think they're open about that. They had New Day go and win the tag team championship. I don't think it works necessarily, but I get the idea. Now they got Becky Lynch out there with the fucking title. Don't even get me started on Becky again. Oh, Oh, the man. (laughs) Um, what's the next uh next name? Mm. This one, I thought this motherfucker has been gone. I did not know that they <laughs> just released him. I, I thought he was a fucking Royal Rumble return just for a night. <laughs> Carlito ass nigga. Oh, I thought but, you were going to say Carlito. No. Go ahead. Shelton Benjamin. This motherfucker has a record <laughs> wrestled in like a decade. Bro. I thought he got released last year. <laughs> I mean, no, Bobby Lashley got released last year. Did he? But he's, I don't know. No, he's on. Some, he's, some black guy got released last year. Well, Lashley's doing the new Hurt Business with yeah, uh, Street Profits. With, with Street Profits. And it's, it's all right. It could go somewhere. It's 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 the classier street profits. It's it's, it's like street them portfolio. kind of growing up a little bit. Street portfolio. It's no longer <laughs> profits. Uh, yeah, but Shelton Benjamin. I don't have much to say about him. I mean, bro, ain't no stopping me now. That's the only thing he had going was his theme song. He's and jumping off the third top. But everybody does that now. So what he do? He's one of those guys that people will make the argument. He's a great worker, and it's like I can't argue with that. I but can't does even that tell make anymore. him? I can't tell anymore. Everybody's a great worker yeah, now. Yeah, everybody's working. <laughs> yeah. What's what do you got now? Uh, Let's the, fly through some of them. All right, the next one. Elias. That one actually. He, he he was one of the ones that got dropped last time too, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember the last. And then one. He, they brought him back, and then that's when he was Zeke for a minute. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, and then he went back to Elias. Wow. I'm surprised they they let him go. He finally uh, told the world that he played his little brother. Mm-hmm. In a tweet, he let it go. Yeah, because he, he knows he's I, done for. He's never coming back. Another guy that I think I could see being in AEW. His, to be honest, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame Vince because you know I love to blame Vince, but Dave could have really worked with him better. He Absolutely. was he was really a crowd pleaser, a crowd getter. Everybody was walking with Alliance. Everybody Elias. was screaming that shit. Yeah. yeah, everybody was screaming that shit and they really fumbled the ball when it came to him. Well, right. the best part they did was they made him put out an album where he really promoted it. Number one he on took iTunes. It seri- he took it seriously as an album. Like He could have he could have actually put out like more albums and did the sort of John Cena thing just in a different genre. Yeah, But yeah, I, I I totally agree. I'm surprised by that one. That I'm, might be the first one that shocked me a little that's bit. Pro- that's the only one on this list that shocked me. That one, I'm a little like, I think WWE is making a bad move on that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I need you to queue up the, um, to get him the fuck out of here again, because this one's uh, definitely needed. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Mustafa Ali. Get the hell out of my ring! 
Get him the fuck out of here. Get him the out fuck of out of here. Why? I think we've been talked about this man being the fuck out of there. Borefest. Right? Now, the one thing I'll give Mustafa Ali is as he's good in the ring, but again, who gives a shit? Everybody's good in the ring at this point. As as boring as he is and as much as none of his shit worked, he did try. He was always trying. It just was like Bro, he looked just the same on the main roster as when they put him back on NXT. He looks just as like there's They gave no, him a crew, it was weak. There was there was no he he plateaued as soon as he made it. Like it was no it was well, no no development, bro. After hey, look, it's a uh, Indian wrestler. There's kind of like nothing else after that. It's like, well, he's not real. He's like kind of just a, an American guy. That's he's, <laughs> he's very Americanized. He's Indian descent. <laughs> yeah, he's from Chicago. He used to be a cop. Yeah, he's not. Maybe they could have played on that shit. That's more, why. That's why but, Jinder Mahal sold so well because he was more believable to be. Because <laughs> he played foreign. up the aristocrat yeah. thing. I don't know. Like, see, this if this was back in the 80s, the 90s, he would actually came out as a cop. You know what I mean? That would have been his gimmick. Cop No, guy. he would have he would have been with Sabu in the turban. Arabs. Yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> Allah Akbar. And- I mean, a guy who, who has a background as a cop. Yeah. That one, I... Yeah. Again, though, AEW is going to suck his dick. Oh, I, yeah. either, either AEW or New Japan wrestling. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. I'm using AEW mostly as the alternative, but yeah. you're right. There are other. Yeah. New Ring of Honor, I could see. Ring of Honor in New Japan would be where yeah. he's going. He'll be back on the Indies. I, I, I can't see him in AEW. If if anything, the, the only hope you have for Mustafa is that he goes on the Indies and finds something. Because he does have the in-ring yeah. kind of work to back it up, but he just doesn't have the just stay, have it. Just stay there. Yeah. Go ahead. Least played person in 2K. Well, <laughs> who uh, else you got? Emma. I forgot who that is. <laughs> oh, didn't she come back as like Emmalina? Uh, I don't know. She put I, on the gloves. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> Gives a shit. Gives a shit. Uh, Redick Moss. Redick Moss. Is that the? football guy yeah he was a swag. he was like um i think he was mrs bodyguard at one point i can't i can't remember him i have to yeah. look him up yeah yeah um next one is alia 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 isn't that the rock's daughter i don't know i'll be honest yeah or whatever no, um should, but... next your man top dollar um, a loss to the roster. <laughs> um, and I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that he only got dropped because he's black. I'm going to go on a limb and say he got dropped because his whole fraction sucked. Sucked. <laughs> sucked. Dick. Which we could go off on top dollar later because I've been going through his, his Twitter. <laughs> like, horrendous. He's doing this like new Suge Knight thing. But then it. when he talks, he's like. He's like, I, I, uh, I uh, worked for WWE for a long time and uh, put in all the work. Did, it's like his voice doesn't all sound. All the work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What work? That wasn't work, my guy. Fucking work. Uh, but yeah, I mean. Uh, we'll see him, we'll see him wrestle um, Nasty Leroy in the future. Um, <laughs> next on the list is. And Nasty Leroy will be the get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nas- <laughs> the next one on the list who I'm glad they didn't get a freaking album on iTunes. Oh. Rick Boogs. Oh my God. I'm glad he's gone. I'm glad he's I'm gone glad too. He's gone. That they, Why don't they, you just fucking die already? What were you going to say? Yeah. Uh, not even. Like, it, he couldn't even change his gimmick and it would work. He had, like. He. I don't even. Like, he he looked like he was from a different time. I don't know what he was going for. The whole rock star thing. I mean, that's like fucking. And walking like a head badger. And then he's wearing like the suspenders he worked, he without in the 90s. a shirt. He could have worked in the 90s. Maybe. Mid 90s. Yeah. He would. I think even in the 90s, he would have been like, we would have seen him as kids and been like, what the fuck is Rick Boogs? 
All right. I hate I'm, that guy. I'm going to actually. You've been Jeff Jarrett's tag partner. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm actually. <laughs> With the Colonel. He would have been Jamie Noble. <laughs> um, I'm going to name both of them what? for this one. One of your favorite up and coming tag teams. I'm glad they're gone. I told you they'll be gone so they could get the fuck out of here. Is um, Mason Mansoor. Oh, come on. Maximum male. <laughs> They models. just did nothing with them, so it was just like get them the fuck out of here. They're cap space at this point. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even. I'm not mad at it. it that was dead in the water once uh, Max Dupree was gone. Mm. And now from <laughs> rest on, we don't know these people. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we probably know Donna Brooke. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. There we go. Uh, about time. She's just been not doing anything. I think they kept her around because, like, I think her boyfriend, I know this is dark to say, but her boyfriend died while she was, like, on the roster. And I think they kept her around, like, as... And she, I, I hear she does a lot of behind-the-scenes, make-a-wish kind of shit. Mm -hmm. Go sees the kids, you know. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, as far as on TV, I don't... I don't even know who this is. Dabakato? Dabakato, oh, uh, he, Dabakato Shonika, he actually was uh, number one on Dave Meltzer's top wrestler of the year. He beat out John Cena and Roman Reigns. <laughs> wow. I don't know who that is. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> the next one is Shanky. Shanky? Yeah. Shanky. He was some big Arab dude. But long, he almost looked like a baby Roman. Ah. Who else? I'm gonna fuck this name up. Inkman Gyro. What? <laughs> Inkman Gyro. Yeah. What a horrible wrestling name. Or Giro. Giro. Oh, that's probably some some slope. And Ulyssa Leon. Ulyssa Leon. Quincy Elliott. Oh, some black guy. What? He looked like a queer too. Uh, <laughs> um, Bryson Montana. <laughs> Kevin Ventura Cortez. <laughs> 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 Daniel MacArthur. <laughs> Daniel like MacArthur. I think I actually know that name. Yeah, we went to school with someone like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right. Go ahead. Uh, Alexis Gray. Fuck your life. Bing bong. Actually, that one, I believe she's, she was, she's a female wrestler, so we don't, she's not on our radar, but. She was supposedly some big prospect for the internet wrestling fans. All right, back Fuck there. your life! <laughs> Bing bong! Sure. Okay. <laughs> They're um, all prospects on, on the internet. Brooklyn Barlow. <laughs> and the last one is you deal at Dobby Fitzgerald. <laughs> hey, I'm third. I, uh... Yeah, half of that list could fuck off. I I really don't, yeah. I don't care. I think this is the problem, and I think WWE's realizing this, is they they loaded up on all this talent, quote unquote talent, but really it's just a bunch of bodies that are around. And I think the entertainment what happened? It also says more than a hundred employees, most off camera were also laid off due to budget cuts. Heard about that too. But I think it's I think it's the entertainment business in general. Like it's it's oversaturated. It's like it needs to go back to where it's like we used to look at people on TV and go, I, like that guy's amazing. I don't know how he does what he does. You know what I mean? Or he's just so like such a personality. It's it captivates you. I don't get that anymore. No, because they're on social media. All day long with lives and posts and yeah, you hear love me, love yeah. me. It's like I want, I want to, I want entertainers to be special again. 
Like, I feel like I look at them and I go, I could do what they do. You're supposed to look at them and go, I can't, I can't believe they do what they do. What they do. How do they do that? How does he come up with the lines? They used to be, yo, you're that character. You're not even that person. And that was the talent, though. Yeah. Was, I believe that character. Like, I believe he's really that dude. To this day, if I ever see Walter White's, Walter White's wife slapping the shit out of her. I, I hate her. Hate her. I hate her. You played her so good, I hate you. That's a credit to her. Yeah. Like, you, like again, yeah, that's a good that's a good example. Watching Breaking Bad. I've been watch, re-watching The Sopranos, and I've been, like, just looking at it, go, how the fuck did they do that? You know what I mean? And it's just acting, but that's back when it was, you believe Tony Soprano, right. James Gandolfini could fucking kill you. He could just call somebody and kill you. But We don't have that anymore. And they fucking love that shit. Like, there's uh, stories about, like, how James Gandolfini used to, like, not get sleep on purpose before big, big scenes so that he would feel, like, irritable and shit like that. Yeah. Like, they would put effort into what they're doing. Now these motherfuckers just show up. And, What's the line? All right, cool. I'm going to say it. They think they're great, but they suck. They suck. Yeah. They think they could just do it on the fly, but it's like... You're not, you're not that guy. Just practice. <laughs> what do you, anything to add? <clears throat> I, I absolutely agree with you when it comes to Hollywood and actors. The fact that we are so close to them and connected is just not a, it, it has its positives, but it also has the negatives of you lose disbelief of what you're watching. You lose disbelief of watching a movie like i'm tired of a great movie franchise that went to hell because it had to progress through hollywood was fast and the furious right it went from a movie that was all based on drag racing stealing parts off of cars for <laughs> races and so on and so forth and it brought it now to motherfuckers the rock could freaking move a helicopter <laughs> I'm going to space and shit. <laughs> but then to add to the whole thing of like, the, and this isn't really a, a realism thing because it is movies, yeah. but then it becomes, now the fast thing is, it's the fast family. So now we're just making movies to appease their, their fucking family. Yeah. Like, it's self-indulgent shit now. And it's like, now we, we, we go to watch a movie, but it's really just them enjoying each other's company. <laughs> it's like around cool shit happening. And yeah. it's like, this, this sucks. This fucking sucks. I liked it better when you guys hated each other or you didn't know each other. Yeah. But yeah, with wrestling, though, it's the same. There's, a, there's an element to that, too, that people just don't give a shit about the, the craft anymore. It's like there's a, as much as like a, a douchebag as Bret Hart used to come off as. Sometimes at least yeah. he gave a fuck about what he was doing. Like he put his effort into the shit. So I don't know. These new guys just, I sound like the old man, but it's, 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 it's getting irritating. what it's getting to. And I understand yeah. the elderly now when I was younger, it's true, bro. Like, yeah, but each that, generation fucks up something great. They, they just take out the, the, we joke about it all the time. They take the soul out of the fucking, out of everything. Yeah. It's just not, not fun anymore. It's not fun. It's not entertaining. You don't feel like getting up and going, yeah, I want to do that. 